Check it out, folks. You want to know how to make a creamy black eyed pea recipe? Hey, I'm going to even give you the secret on how to make these delicious, you know, cornbread muffins. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, folks, so I'm getting ready to check my turkey. I'm going to have you guys come on here and take a look at that. But as you saw, anytime I use water, anytime you can use water, I always level it up with a little bit of the, you know, chicken stock, turkey stock or whatever. But my real tool of choice is like the chicken stock, right? So you can see I got everything in here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this out. Let me get a good bite on it, cause this is big and heavy. It's about to crumble and tear up just from me holding it, right? So I'm just gonna take this out like that and just add it right here. All right, so look, now I'm getting ready to give you guys a pro tip, right? You remember all of the chicken stock we had? Listen, it's gonna kinda like evaporate. I don't come back with chicken stock. What I do is I come with a little water, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab, you know, these, cause I don't wanna burn my hand. And I wanna show you this part right here. Look, you wanna get yourself something that you can pour your liquids inside of. And that'll be, we'll just take this and we'll pour it because we're gonna need about six cups, right? So this is a four cup Pyrex. Look at that, that's all the flavor. That's that turkey and chicken mixed together. All right, so let me give you the setup. Look, we took our turkey out. As you can see, it's ready to fall off the bone. If I grab it right here, look, I can just keep going like this, it'll shred off. That's what you want, right? We are talking about black eyed peas. Now, let me get my little napkin. You know what, let's go like this. Let's go old school. Since we're making black eyed peas, it's just like it used to be, right? We got six cups of our broth right here. That's what we got. We got fire. Now we got our veggies. Now, I'm gonna talk to y'all like this because you guys should be saving by now. If you're new to my channel, look, let me bring you up to speed. We gotta use, you know, bacon fat, right? Bacon fat, bacon grease, you call it what you wanna call it. But I, you know, I collect it and this is what we're gonna start with. You wanna know why everything tastes good when it comes from me? You know what I mean? Because I start with like great ingredients. Ain't like we eating these black eyed peas all the time. So I'm gonna put a little heat in there. I'm gonna come with like a couple of tablespoons. Now these are hex clad pots and pans, right? You don't have to worry about that. You can use metal utensils inside of, you know, inside of the pots. We're not scraping up nothing. All right, so listen to that right there. Listen, I'm doing this right now because I'm smelling it. It say holiday to me and it say, you know, like morning time, right? Now, Remember our veggies? That's what you saw me cutting down. I gotta talk to you guys about this, like about the size of it and all of that. Remember, when we dicing down, we use the size, right? So listen, if it's a larger dice, that's for the texture. And when you dice down small, that's for the flavor. So I got a little bit of a mixture right here. So I got everything, jalapeno, bell peppers, onion, and it's some, oh, my celery, all of that goes inside. Now what we are doing is we letting them sweat a little bit, right? We are not gonna break them down. I don't wanna see them get all the way down to be translucent because I want them to hold a little bit of that, you know, integrity, right? Now the smaller dice, are, you know, put the taste inside, but outside of that, we just gonna sweat them. I say at a medium flame, it probably take us about, I don't know, maybe about three to four minutes. It really depends on the size of your flame. Okay, now look, I'm gonna give up some of my trade secrets, right? Now we started with, everybody know about the bacon fat, right? The bacon grease and all of that. We got that in there and we sweating, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little butter just to add, just to raise up the flavor just a little bit. All right, so nothing puts a smile on AB's face when he's cooking. A lot of things put a smile on my face. But right now when I'm cooking, it's just something about this right here. Takes me back to my granny. I just wanna know her and my mama, why was I doing all of that mincing when they have a little apparatus like this? Now, if you guys notice, after I got my greens, all of my veggies on the bottom, right? I put my, you know, my minced garlic on top. That stops everything from burning. Cause sometimes when you put it down to hit that hot pot, by the time I pick up my spatula or whatever I'm using, it'll go ahead and burn, right? But I can tell you right now, I can smell it right now. It's perfect, folks. Okay, remember I told you I don't want to sweat them all the way down, right? Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm using Creole Kick. You guys can use any type of Creole or Cajun seasoning that you like. I'm just going to put this over the top and I'm going to stay true to the game. Cause you know what? These are low sodium products. I'm finna come with my salt. I'm finna just give it a wake up. Oh, that's him. She woke now. I'm getting ready to, before I add the rest, I'm gonna put some liquid in the inside. Remember all that flavor that we had? Check this out, folks. Right, now we got W sauce. All right, folks, so look, I put the lid on the top so that it will go ahead and, you know, hurry up and boil, right? So you see that right there? You see a lot of that steam, right? I'll make the adjustment in just one second. Let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit because we got to do a little work. Now, remember this fall off the bone? Y'all got them dogs and all of that? Man, you can go ahead and give your dog, you know, a little bit of this. Give them something to work with. It's the holidays. 
Okay, folks, look, so when you come in here and you take a look at this right here, this is what I'm going to discard. You see this? I'm going to get rid of, you know, the skin, all of that, right? But the rest of this, I want to get it and I want to get this little cartilage out. I don't know what uh, what's up with that and why you always get cartilage only in the drumstick, but, and then I'm breaking some of this up, but I want some of these whole pieces, you know, to be fire. I want to be able to take a bite and know that I got turkey. You know what I mean? So I don't shred it. We just do it like this. Don't forget, this was smoked and all of that. I feel like I'm rambling because I see this off of my peripheral. It's screaming, put me in, coach. So just go ahead and just let some of this down. You know, just lower it down in there, right? We got to be smart, folks. Kitchen ain't no place to, like, play. I know y'all looking around and we're trying to figure out what's happening with this, right? Look, ta-da, there's our beans. Now, don't forget, I hot flash them, right? So you saw the whole thing, adding the chicken stock, rinsing the beans. I do all of that, clean them, you know, sort them, take the crack ones out, you know, yada, 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 right? After doing that, I rinse them a couple of times and I put them, I boil my stock. When it stops, we drop one pound of, you know, black, black eyed peas inside there, and then we just let them sit, right? They probably sat for about an hour and a half. I can take one of these right now, but that water's hot. I can take it and I can just go like this with it. They ready. So now I've got my colander, it's right here. We finna go ahead and drain, then we finna add. All right, strain, everything looking good. Now we go in. Now don't forget, we haven't even put in our bay leaf, right? You'll see why I don't put it in until now. You know, because I want to do all my mixing and all of that. Then I'm finna ready to taste again. You know what I mean? Just to see if we good, right? So if you get in here and look at that right there. Uh-oh, folks. We finna cook this down and we finna make some magic. I'm gonna drop this in here like that. We're gonna bring it to a boil. I'm gonna set it back down to a simmer and we're gonna let it simmer for about one hour. Okay, folks, it's been an hour, probably about an hour and 10 minutes, right? I did add a little bit more broth to this, you know what I mean? Because as it steams, as you can see, if I put it right here, you come on in and take a look at that right here. Look right there. You see that right there? That lets some of that steam out of there so we losing a little liquid, right? But I'm finna break this away from myself so I don't get burned, right? We let that out like that. Now, you gotta come in here and take a look at this. I got a little pro tip for you. I do it, get yourself a Pyrex, right? Get yourself, you know, like a little ladle. So look, I grabbed some, it's okay to get a little bit of the liquid. We just gonna go ahead and put some inside this cup. We got the beans in here, right? I'm gonna use that same ladle and now I'm just gonna mash because everything is nice and soft, right? Okay, so look, I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like right here, right? When I lift this up like that, look at that right there. Ooh, my goodness, that's so thick. So we already had that spatula together, so now we add this back, right? This is gonna be our thickening agent. We never gonna put the top back on it. Not while we cook it anyway, right? Because we want it to get thick. And now you just cook it to the desired thickness that you want. I'm finna get right in. You can look at that. Hey, when I say black eyed peas and I want them to be creamy, look at that right there. They nice and thick. It, the turkey is what has broken down perfect. Look at that right there. You see that? Hey, so that I don't over talk, you see it right here. Oh, let me ask you this. Check this out. How many of y'all gonna have it with this hot sauce? Look, this is the tool of choice out here. Let me know down in the comment section below, what's your favorite, you know, hot sauce? <laughs> now, keeping it 100 with you guys out there, this right here is fire, it doesn't need nothing. You know why? Because we tasted as we went and we didn't have to really make no adjustments. But as you were tasting, you might want to add yourself some more Creole or Cajun seasoning to it. But this right here is the way to go. So check this out. This is my entry for week number three for, you know, Soul Food Sunday. So with that being said, listen, I'm about to get out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tell everybody out there. Check this out. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. I'm about to stack another one of these on top. And you know how I do. I'm out. Peace.